So today I'm going to be showing you how to do this computer screen effect in After Effects. Uh, it's pretty good if you're making like a documentary or some kind of video where you need to show somebody using a computer or maybe you're like researching uh, and you want to show that you're doing some research, clicking on links or things like that. Uh, it's a pretty good effect for that. So I have my image already in for us. Uh, the first thing we want to do is come to new and we're going to add a, a solid and we're just going to call this solid good. Uh, then we're going to come over here to the effects and we're going to add the good effect to this. Uh, so I find the, we want to set this to with slider and I find uh, about 8 and 1 for the border is good for that kind of pixelated effect. Uh, set the blending mode here to be stencil alpha and that's already giving us a pretty good pixel effect. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is add chromatic aberration. Uh, if you want to learn how to do uh, chromatic aberration, I have a tutorial for that uh, where we made presets. Uh, so definitely go check that out if you want to learn what I'm doing here. Uh, so that's just going to give us a little bit of a RGB split so you can see how uh, we're already getting it. Uh, less is more with this effect, you don't really want to overdo it. Especially because we're going to be zooming in on this later uh, and we'll have a few overlays on it. Uh, so the next thing I'm going to do is a optic compensation and that's going to give us that screen bend. Uh, so I'm going to add this to the video clip. And I'm going to set this field of view uh, maybe to something like 50. Uh, you kind of have to play around with it, you know, see what you like. Uh, let's go up a little more with it. And I'm going to set the center uh, just to be up some, which is where it's going to start bending at. So since I had to resize my clip a bit. And yeah, I think this is looking pretty good, maybe just a little bit more. Uh, okay, so the next thing we want to do is I'm going to bring in an overlay, and this is going to do a lot of the heavy lifting for us. So if you want to find this exact overlay that I'm using, uh, you could join my Discord server, and this will be in the overlay uh, channel. So on this overlay, I'm going to set it to be linear burn. And immediately you can see that kind of made our... Uh, overall image a little bit dark so before we fix that I'm going to resize this overlay so uh, we don't really see the corners. Let me just go ahead and bring that up and yeah I think that's that's looking better so this is going to add a lot of realism because we have these corners in here and the reflections of the glass. Uh, so the next thing I'm going to do is uh, to fix this we're going to add a new adjustment layer. And then on this adjustment layer, we're going to add a brightness and contrast, and that's just going to uh, bring everything, bring everything up all together. And you probably need to duplicate this one or two times. Uh, so if that's uh, not enough for you, then just do it one more time, and that should be a little bit better. Uh, you can even do it one more time and bring it down some. It starts to get washed out at that point, but uh, you want to try and keep as much as this reflection in there as possible. Uh, so, the more of that you can keep, the better it will turn out. Uh, so the next thing I want to do is bring this up. Uh, so I kind of want to zoom in to the center here. Uh, then later in the animation, I want to zoom out after we do the search. Uh, one more thing I want to do to this, uh, just to really make it look nice, is add another adjustment layer. And I'm going to rename this adjustment layer to be brightness. And I'm going to rename this one to be Blur. I'm just going to add a little bit of a blur to it. I'm going to use the camera lens effect for this. And I'm going to set a mask on this. So I'm going to use the ellipse tool. And it doesn't have to be perfect. I just kind of throw a rough shape on there. Right, then I'm going to set this to a subtract mask. And I'm going to press F to open the feather menu and feather the edges out. So later when we start this search, it'll be uh, out of focus a little bit. So, uh, so the next thing I'm going to show you how to do is I uh, readjust this. Uh, I found the easiest way to do it is uh, once we want to change the size, uh, we will just do a cut here. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, right here when it's loading is when I want to do the cut. So I'm just going to hit Control Shift D and it's going to cut it. And then I'm going to reposition this one. So we don't want to be as zoomed in anymore. We kind of want to come out with it. 
and we want to bring this over as well and we're probably going to need to change the optics compensation uh, center uh, just so it's not uh, as as off for us so uh, let's do that one more time and just kind of set it to somewhere right here I'm also going to bring this down a little bit since we're not as close anymore. Yeah, you could really play around with this and uh, get it to be perfect, but I think somewhere right here is, is good enough for me. Uh, I think I clicked the link three links down, so let me just make sure. Let me just change the size a little bit so we can see that link when we actually go to click it. Okay, so something like this is looking good for me, so then we come here, and uh, I think we went a little too fast, so we click the link, and then I want to s split the layer one more time for this next one. And again, I'm just going to do the same thing, just reposition this uh, to be more in the center of the screen, and I think that already looks really good. Uh, so then we scroll down. I'm just going to stop it though, because I think that's where I stopped in the intro. So yeah, this is how you do the, uh, I guess, monitor effect. It's really good for documentaries and things like that. Uh, it also works really good if you are like moving files on the desktop or you want to show something in, in that kind of fashion. Uh, if you enjoyed this tutorial, check out my other tutorials, which are on the screen now, uh, as well as my chromatic aberration tutorial.